Hey guys, Dan Valamont here with Fanatic Wrestling. Today I have the honor to be back in my former home, Philadelphia, at the University of Pennsylvania, joined by my former coach, Brandon Slay. Brandon was an Olympic champion in 2000 in Sydney. He is the current head coach of the Pennsylvania Regional Training Center. Again, he was my coach for the past five years. Um, it's an honor for me to be here with him today and, and to learn from Coach Slay, as I've been doing for the past five years. So, um, really, really cool stuff. We went over a ton of different offense, um, stuff that made Brandon successful, stuff that he's teaching the athletes here at the PRTC. Um, we started out with just some basic core concepts of wrestling. We get into a bunch of different ways to move our opponent. And then we get into some of Brandon's offense from three different types of penetration steps. So there's stuff for everybody here. But right now, um, while you guys are waiting, this video, if it's not yet released, we're gonna get a little bit of a preview of what to expect from this upcoming video. So, Coach. Yeah, I wanna talk about scoring from this over and under position because I think it's really the most appropriate for probably most of you watching. I think probably everybody listening to this right now has been in an over and under position. Whether you've been in a cage and MMA on the wall, or whether you've been in jiu-jitsu class and trying to take somebody down, or if you're a wrestler, I guarantee you've all been in this, what we call this over, right? Over on this side, under position. And now you see this, you're like, oh yeah, I've been there before. So there's a great way to score from here versus just stalemate and pause it. So what I wanna do, I wanna create pressure on Dan right here. And once I create pressure and I feel this pressure coming back into me, once I feel that pressure, his momentum, I'm gonna step to the side and level change let him, his momentum, fly right by me, and now you can almost see where I'm going. Now I'm gonna attack, I drop my hands, I'm gonna attack to this double leg, and I'm gonna run through him. So I'll do it a little faster this way. I'm beating his pressure, and he's pushing back into me. I'm a side step, I'm gonna double leg him right there. So, I mean, one thing you notice, like, I think this move's kind of hard to do slow, and so that's why it's good that he did a little bit faster there. But I notice um, when you're pressuring into me, and it's that common uh, thing you hear in wrestling, when a guy pushes into you, you push back into him, uh, especially in freestyle, if you're pushing me near the edge, I, I can't give up that ground. Folk style might get hit for stalling, but I notice you're pressuring in, and all of a sudden it seems like you're, that pressure just disappeared. Uh, uh, what, what's going on there? What are, you, what are you focusing on? So I think the key to that, Dan, is, is that do disappear. That's part of the side step, getting out of your way, and allowing your momentum to come by and fly right by me. Because if I don't disappear, if I don't side step, then this move is not going to work. So the pressure, the sidestep, the release of the pressure creates this, this T, this angle. And that T, I say T is really for takedown. That T, that angle, increases my opportunity to be able to run through you on a double leg. Yeah, I mean, that's, it, it's hard to see it because um, you got to actually feel that, but the pressure is so key. And it, it's weird because when he drops his weight there, and I'm pressuring into him, I just go right over the top. And it's a really effortless takedown, really, here. Um, he just has to level change. And if I'm not pressuring into him, this isn't gonna work. If we're just kind of standing here and he just tries to drop down, I can just back away. But when I'm pushing into him, I'm basically leaning up against the wall and then that wall disappears and I fall right over the top. So, yep, he'll do it one more time here from this side. So same thing, I'm really pressuring back in here. And he can use my own momentum against me there um, to just get a nice, easy double leg. If you know anything about Brandon Slay, he hits lots of doubles. You're going to learn a lot of them in this video. So again, if it's not out yet, stay on the lookout. It will be out soon. FanaticWrestling.com, BJJFanatics.com. It'll be in both stores. Also, as always, stay on the lookout for, well, not stay on the lookout. Follow us on our social media, Twitter, Instagram. Join our Facebook page. Like our group. Um, and also, one last thing, I'll, I'll give a little shout out to the rest of my PRTC teammates. A lot of them have videos in the store too, so off the top of my head, hopefully I don't forget anybody. I know Ethan Lezak, uh, David McFadden, and Chase Pammy, one of my other former teammates who is no longer on the PRTC. And there's one more I'm forgetting right now, and I'm sorry. Brian Pearsall has one, right? Brian Pearsall has one, and also Joey McKenna. All right, I think I named them all. Get out and check out all their videos. They've got some really good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.